Hello, people. This is Detroit Miracle. Yes, and indeed. Oh, what a lovely day it's been. It certainly has. By the looks of it, it looks like the day is coming to a drastic end. Yeah. I'm experiencing all of this while sitting out back. And there's baby raccoons running around out here too. Yeah, I never saw them that small. Like they're like tiny, so you know the mother probably went off to hunt to bring food back to forage for the family. It's usually like you just see the mother and the cubs that's with any animal except for those um geese. The geese think like people. You know those giant things that look like large ducks, but they're really like goose or geese. They apply the same traditions as people as far as the mother, the father, and the children sticking together. Because early in the morning, they come out as a family group. You will see the father and mother standing right by um, different cubs or whatever you call the small geese, babies. There'll be the family system is there. Then you'll see other couples with their children too. The structure like that with the father and the daddy. I mean, or the I mean the mom, mother, the mom, parent, and the dad parent. You know, they stick together. So they apply that system, the same thing. Yep, I, I couldn't believe it when I seen that. I'm like, wow, ducks or those giant geese things, they think like people because I'm seeing the mother, the father as a couple and the children standing by them. Like dude actually thinks that the geese mother is his wife and she acts like the dude is her husband. So it's the same type of thing. I know they're not, sitting in a wedding ceremony or something like uh, with a big parade and a reception they're not going that far but they think a lot like people but when you see things like female dogs and female cats with their um cubs they're usually by themselves where there's no father parent around yeah they think like that especially dogs like they um when you see a mother dog and a cubs, the dad dog usually run away. Yeah, and but with wild animals and things, like you know the mother is a strong maternal instinct and in any like wild creature out if she tends to her kids, you know, keeps that family structure together for a while until the or into the tiny children grow a little bit bigger and become responsible and then they can go their own ways in life. That's usually how it works. And a lot like that applies to people too. As far as when they get old enough, they go their own separate ways and leave the parents. You know, so sad. Yeah, but um, you know, with wild animals, chances are when they leave the parents, or stray animals on the streets, they won't ever see their parents again, unless they just have their scent and they can track them for miles and miles. But even then, with that being the case, there's still no guarantees that they would ever find them. But you know, when um, a guy or a girl leaves their parents and goes on their own way, they come back and visit from time to time and they had that option, so you know, they will see their parent again, but like it, when animals on the street separate in part ways, it's, it's even more difficult because they don't utilize the same type of approach as people as far as location finder or all, and phone numbers, addresses and things. So, you know, they go by scent and keen instant instincts and awareness that is yeah animals have sharpened instincts and skills and their senses are heightened especially the ones that like running around on the street we had a cat we thought it was a suburban cat because his eyes was green and his fur was golden 
yeah, this was a golden type of orange cat with green eyes. We thought, yeah, this would be a wonderful house cat, but we couldn't keep that cat at home. He would be on the streets at times weeks on and months on without even returning home. Then he'll come back and we'll be looking at him like, wow, you must have got him from um, the alley or something because he can't stay off the streets. Like he was not a house cat despite him looking like that. It's crazy, but they do come home if they have some kind of um, sense of um, that being their dwelling place or the place they can definitely go to lay low for a while, you know, much like the way people feel about those things. Yeah. Whoa, more of that orange is coming in and a night is setting in, a weekend night too, wow. Look at all those lucky people out there. They get to enjoy their weekend. They don't have to worry about going to work to Monday unless some have Monday off too, like a three-day outing without having to punch in a time clock or sign up or say, professional private Rogers has arrived, Major, ready for duty. If you don't got to do any of that, then you good. <laughs> If you don't got to do it for the next few days, you good. If you don't got to do it for the next week or so, you good. Wishful thinking, people. Well, please give me those likes, comments, and subscribe to me, Detroit Miracle. I appreciate it.